Welcome back to Hardcore Brutal Arc. Today, I'm risking life, limb, and my 11 gigabyte save file all in the lava cave. The lava cave is perhaps the most hazardous cave in Arc, not because of its creatures or its temperatures, but shockingly, because of its lava. In case you didn't know, the lava will instantly kill any player or creature unlucky or idiotic enough to take a dip in it. For this reason, it is particularly dangerous to my Hardcore Brutal Arc save file. So, let's get started. We're going to be diving right into the lava cave, though hopefully not the lava. Today I'm riding on Roko, again, who is my faithful uh, companion and raptor who's 97% imprinted, which, you know, is close enough to 100. He's basically 100% imprinted. He has about 6,000 health, and he should make pretty quick work of pretty much everything in this lava cave. Uh, even still, I'm just going to be, you know, taking pot shots at a few of the onyx just for funsies. We're going to aggro all of them from a distance. And, of course, kill them all with a sword. After that, we're going to move on to the scorpions, the spiders, and more scorpions, apparently. And then after that, probably some dillos. Get a free level up, because, you know, it's just murder in arc. It just gives a really good experience. And again, more dillos. Very fun. We have not gotten to the most dangerous part of the lava cave yet. This part doesn't really require you to jump over any lava, but coming up, there'll be a single jump, which is about... I don't know, one raptor length. It should be easily clearable, but I'm hedging my bets, and I'm actually going to build a bridge across. So starting off, we're going to place two foundations at either end of the bridge. There's one. And actually, let's try and put a ceiling across there. Now, interestingly, Ark says that this is too high above the ground. I will agree, it is too high above the ground, but it's connected by a foundation, so I think Ark can screw off. Anyways, this is a fairly easy jump, and we make that with ease. However, if I had failed it, I would have died. We're up against another jump here, but of course, did a quick building wall. Get me across that. There's a few more jumps left, including this one, which is actually a significant drop. Only four structures to get across, though, and we're into, I guess, the final section of the cave. Uh, of course, there's going to be some things getting in the way, like more Onik, which we're just going to immediately murder, because, you know, it's Ark, you gotta murder everything you see. We're coming up on the artifact. I really thought that, that was a Megalosaurus, but it's actually just a Dillo that was really close to me and wasn't aggroing on me because I was not a raptor. Spiders are very not fun to deal with, especially combined with the Dillos. They slow down your movement speed to about 5% of what it actually is, and it's really, really annoying because they both web and shoot projectiles at you that blind you. It's so irritating to fight up against them, especially in a confined space. Alright, we're up against the final jump here, and I'm going to build another bridge across, right after I murder this dillo. Here's the bridge, hopefully this will work. Let's see if this one is too far down. And yes, it is too high above the ground. However, I will contend that it is like two feet above the lava, which is close enough, really. Interestingly, Ark doesn't actually put any ground below the lava, it's an infinite fall. I've tried it before, believe me. And we're at the artifact container. We're going to kill the Stillo and probably that Onik over there for no reason other than I felt like it. At this point in the run, I was very paranoid that something was going to go wrong and I was going to slip off immediately into the lava, so I'm not taking any chances. I even brought three canteens of water, but didn't actually end up using any of them. Here's our reward, Artifact of the Massive. Now, it should be pretty much a straight shot out. We're going to take a different pathway, branching off right earlier than we should. And that will take us to an area with ruins and an extra explorer note, which will give us a closer pathway. I almost missed that jump, and if I had, I probably would have tried to dismount and survive, but fortunately, I didn't have to resort to that. There's that Dillo again that I thought was a Megalosaurus. Funny. Even more things tried to kill me. Eh, you know, just regular day in art. For some reason, my sword just would not hit that RNA. It was very weird. Here are the ruins. This is probably the central chamber of the lava cave. It's very fancy. I like to jump down it in speedruns. For no reason in particular, other than it gives me fall damage, and it's pretty funny. I get ambushed by a scorpion here, which I have absolutely no idea where it came from, but, you know, that's fine. We just ignore it. And another Onik, who I have no idea where it came from. Alright, we're actually going to get that explorer note now, which is dangling pretty far off a ledge. It's a bit scary, but you know, we'll get the Manta dossier. It's, uh, 
kind of underwhelming reading all the dossiers, honestly. They're not super great. Art PC is better lore, don't at me. Anyways, here's that jump again. You may wonder why we didn't just take this route down, and I coulda. It would have been way easier. It would have been a lot less stressful. I uh, did it because I didn't feel like it, and also I might have forgotten and thought to myself, hey, probably shouldn't jump off a ledge with a raptor. But you know, it's fine. We'll just ignore it and uh, hopefully make it out of here alive. We don't have any more jumps left, so it should just be a straight shot out of the cave. Anyways, that's pretty much the entirety of the artifact of the massive cave, also known as the lava cave. Also known as the cave off the southeast of the island, whatever. Whatever you want to call it, it is probably the most hazardous cave, by, just based off environmental hazards. Obviously, uh, Yeti Cave and Swamp Cave are a bit more dangerous to pretty much anyone, but the Lava Cave will kill anyone at literally any level of the game, no matter what armor, what gear, what mounts you have. It's very powerful and very hazardous. So let's take our artifact to go, go get tributed. I'm actually hoping for a double barrel shotgun with damage over preferably 300. I'm trying to <clears throat> enter a dungeon soon and I'll need a good ranged weapon. The long neck is good but its DPS is just not really cutting it. And there's a shotgun so let's see how good it is. Yeah, 74 damage is kind of disgusting and terrible. Uh, the boot BPs aren't any much better and neither are the leggings. Student Glum is nice I might use it to tame, I don't know, another Pteranodon so I can imprint them. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more hardcore brutal art content, possibly a dungeon run, and please subscribe to help me reach 100 subs. My name is Silver. I'll see you next time.